Trish and I finished the Thrive Program just a little over a year ago. I had emetophobia since I was about seven. That's as far back as I can remember. And I finished the program right after my 54th birthday. And the only thing I can honestly say is I wish I would have done it sooner. I didn't know about it. I didn't even know emetophobia was a word. I've been through all the things that probably everyone else with emetophobia goes through with the you know, having the anxiety, the panic attacks and all of these things and, you know, getting counseling, taking medication, um, all of those, all of those sort of things. I learned meditation, hypnosis, uh, which I love all of those things, but it didn't get me to where I am today because it, everything could only get me so far. And it's like the Thrive Program takes everything. It has everything that you need. It's it's foolproof. I, th I really think that if you did it, it would have to be foolproof if you put in the effort because um, that's really all you have to do. I just started noticing um, that little things where maybe I didn't wash my hands as many times as I always have. I would wash my hands until they were bleeding because of germs because not only did I have emetophobia, but I'm also a nurse. I've been a nurse for 25 years. I raised three kids on my own. It was very, very hard. Uh, medication kept me alive, but you know, because depression, anxiety, it's, it's rough, but this program gave me a life. I, I, I thought at one point, you know, this program gave me my life back, but no, it gave me a life. I had these issues since I was seven, you know, I, I just was used to it. It was part of me. That was my life. All of these things were under the surface of every good thing that ever happened. There was always this anxiety under the surface. And now I, I enjoy everything that happens, good and bad. I feel all the emotions and it doesn't, nothing puts me over the edge. And somebody can say they're not feeling well and I don't have to run out of the room, excuse myself, make up some sort of reason why I can't be there. You know, that that's a, that's no way to live. I, I, um, I'm so grateful for this program. And you know, the funny thing about it is it's not, it's not hard. You just have to put in consistent work. I, I can remember little things that I did to push myself out of my comfort zone because that's really what it's all about. You do that, you do what's in the program, you read it. You can't fail. It's, you know, I, I bought the book and I got through about five chapters on my own. And, um, you know, just because of perfectionism and I didn't want to miss anything. I wanted to do it right. I hired a coach and we went through, I believe, seven sessions. There's a, there was a total of eight. And she said, you know, I don't think that you need me anymore, but we'll save the session for a checkup later. And that's what we did. And they have you take this quiz. And in the beginning, my self-esteem level was like 35%. And that just really struck me because one of the things that that it says is if your, for instance, if your self-esteem is 35%, that means that you think you're 35% good enough. And I thought, you know, that's not true. I, I don't think that's true. So I continued to challenge myself and I realized that it's not true. I'm much better than 35%. And I think by the end of the program, I was maybe up in the 90s, you know, 90%, something like that. I, I can't remember, but I do know that I did the quiz again a month or so later, or a couple months later, and it was even better. All of the things that the, that the quiz shows, it's real. I mean, you, you feel it in real life, those numbers raising. It's, it's just unbelievable to me. People say they think it's it's too good to be true. They don't. They think it's some sort of scam or whatever. Uh, I mean, I would just encourage you to buy the book and see what it's all about. Because I, I remember uh, I used to cut my nails so short because I was a nurse. I was so scared of germs and all of these things. Like I said, medication got me through. Um, but I would cut. I would cut my nails. I, by the way, I went off of medication about a year before I started this program, the reason because of side effects. I mean, all of these medications have long, some of them have long-term side effects, which I continue to experience. But anyway, I, I used to cut my nails really short because I was afraid of germs and I, you know, wash my hands constantly. And I just noticed uh, some, at some point, a couple weeks into the program that, um, 
oh, I haven't been washing my hands as much. I went out to eat at a restaurant. My husband said, oh my gosh, you have nails. Your nails are growing. I just forgot to cut them because I just, the, the worry and anxiety just started melting away as I put in the work. And, um, you know, when people say it's a cure, it's really that you've learned a skill set that you're going to have for the rest of your life. So it keeps you from ever building that anxiety, having that emetophobia. I mean, I, I'm sure that anything that I could say about my symptoms that I had with emetophobia, anybody with it could relate to. There was a point in my life where, matter of fact, when I had my third child, I weighed 119 pounds when I went into labor. I would, I would get to a point where I wouldn't eat anything that wasn't packaged. It sounds crazy. If I said that to anybody who has not experienced memetophobia, they wouldn't get it. But I think that people who do have it would understand that. I just had this idea that I didn't want anybody to touch my food. I mean, there were, even as a kid, you know, I would get made fun of because if somebody touched my food, it would just go in the trash because I would be too scared to eat it. But none of that any longer. I'm 55 years old. I'm living life for the first time. Uh, only thing I could say is don't wait. It's not worth it. It's not worth putting it off. You think it's a, if you think it's a scam, you think it's too good to be true, try it out. The book is not that, it's not a huge amount of money or anything like that. You think about how much you're spending on counseling, medication, whatever. I mean, it's a drop in the bucket. You, you will thank yourself forever. I promise you that. Mm -hmm.